Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Plasma 1945 with you in an SU-27. All about Sims, all about DCS World in this video, and about not breaking your wings. Your structure of the aircraft should not fail when you're flying in DCS World, but it happens more than you might think to pilots who are experienced and who are not experienced in simulators. All aircraft in DCS, as far as I'm aware, can suffer structural failure, even the F-15 Eagle, which I'm going to be going up against. This is flown by another real player pilot in the contention server. As you can see, I'm at altitude and I'm accelerating. That eagle is chasing some friendlies. I have to make him rethink his choices because he's definitely fast enough to catch up to anybody. But as you can see, he is descending. He stops conning and starts maneuvering. Why does this happen? Because I've sent a Fox 1 missile at him. So he is defending it and he is descending. But at the same time, as I can see his contrail pointing down, I know he's going for the deck. I'm not following him down. Why? Unless he fires on me, I stay high and fast. The air is thinner at higher altitude, whereas while he descends, he goes into thicker air. Down low, he will not be able to fly as fast because there is air resistance. And if he performs any maneuvers, in the more denser air at sea level, he is more likely to damage his aircraft, whether by breaking wings, snapping them, or having a complete failure of his aircraft. The Eagle's an afterburner, he's diving, and as you can see, my contrail is right behind him, pursuing him. The most important thing to remember is if you are above Mach 1.5 and you cross 15,000 feet, 5,000 meters, you had better either slow down or be very careful with your inputs. Now, I'm pushing up to Mach 1.8, 1900 kilometers an hour. The Eagle's in front of me at 1500 kilometers an hour, about 400 kilometers difference, about 200 knots. But because I am so high above him, almost 30,000 feet of altitude difference, my computer is rejecting a missile launch. I have to come down to his level. I've got picture in picture so you can watch my inputs. As I'm descending, I'm cutting back on my afterburner and there's a missile launch. My computer is complaining that I'm overspeeding the aircraft, but again, very gentle controls and the Eagle has now been splashed. Key things to watch out for at the lower altitude is once you pass through about 15,000 feet, 5,000 meters in DCS, Pull back on the throttle, bring it back to mill, come out of burner. Make sure your inputs are as smooth as possible and as minimal as possible. Avoid rudder movements and try to use the stick only. Use the larger surfaces of the wings, which are more tolerant to damage. And the other thing is, is once you splash your target, just like I did on the screen here, level your plane out, come up with a nice horizontal level on your aircraft and climb back for altitude and hit that afterburner so that if there's any SAMs or AAA behind you, it's not going to schwack you. If you found this video useful, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the air. Plasma's out of here.